こんにちは、アスカ先生です。はい、I'm Asuka 先生。You are Japanese teacher. Today I'm talking about katakana only spellings. Yes, so katakana is used to write down foreign words into Japanese language. So it means we encountered lots of unfamiliar sounds. Yes. <laughs> so one of them is, for example, violin. So violin is v sound. We Japanese language don't have, you know, that's a、um, kind of v sound. We have v sound like b in English, so that's why we can write the word violin in violin. Okay, ba, this is katakana ba, this is ba, i, o, i, n. If I Write the、um, alphabet. This is B A, Ba, Iorin. But of course, it's not exactly the same as Violin. Yes. <laughs> so, we have another spelling s to capture this V sound. So, that is Va. Katakana U and two dots, and then small A. Katakana U and two dots. We don't have these spellings in hiragana because that's not our original sounds. Yes, okay, this is not Japanese original sound, but this is falling sound for us. Yes, so that's the special spelling. Okay, katakana u and then two dots means v, okay, and the small a means a sound, and then you blend them together v and then a, v, a, v, a, v, a, v, okay. So, this standard size u and two dots and a small a mixed together, va, i, o, ri, n, violin. Okay? So, for this instrument, violin, <laughs> we have two spellings the usual Japanese you know, letters, va, i, o, ri, n, using va, maybe,、um, yes, half of the spellings we use this one. But on the half, you know, we use these special spellings to try to capture the sound. Violin. Okay, we have two spellings. And then these kinds of katakana only spellings we have, right? So if you are interested in learning katakana, this is my book, Complete Japanese Katakana. And then, of course, I have a special page to show you katakana only spellings. Spellings. There is a big chart as you can see. Okay, so if you want to know katakana letters completely, yes, so I recommend my book. Bye, see you next time. Till then, mata ne!